Who's that boo boo? Another pretty fantastic day. Got the fellas over, We're getting ready to go to a car show tomorrow, which I hope to film some of. Some of the boys, our friend Derry. How awesome is that? So what we have is a selection, <laughs> a selection of fine automobiles. Hey, what do you guys think the Subaru Model T Edsel Club is here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? It's a big <laughs> members three. So it's the F E T S Fets. <laughs> oh no, oh, it's that'd be E A. What's I that? I believe that's E A. Oh, Feta. <laughs> Uh, so far, so good again. I'm so happy that the squeak is fixed. Thanks for that, guys. I didn't even realize. I thought that that was a serious problem, and it yeah. was a vacuum hose. So, pretty That's mint. Good. Oh, wow. uh, uh, tell me more about these emblems. Oh, let's check it out. They're, oh, the, they're the early aluminum huh? pre-1958. Wow. Oh, they're actually not all pitted up. No, they're well, they're the pre, they're, they're pre early pre-production pre Canada or just pre. No, U.S. I bought them from the states. Yeah. The guy only had them. He only, the guy the Edsel, Jeffrey wow. Walker, the Edsel King. He only Edsel had Edsel King. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! He actually he had. I these. thought you were the Edsel no, King. No, I wish. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, 150 bucks well spent. 150. Oh, I had them. I needed them. Like oh, I needed man. them. Like, like no one else had them. I put an APB. Oh yeah, look at there we go. And the holes oh. all line up. Cool. Yeah. That's gonna look good. Hey. Oh, that fixes her up. Okay, good. Cool. So we also have to do yeah some actual work. Some actual work here. Fuel line we're fixing today. Okay. And the belt's loose. A brand new fuel line that cracked. Yeah. Well, that's how long this shit lasts now. Mm -hmm. You know what else is shit? The gas that goes in the fuel hose. Yeah. We'll we get have... a new piece of hose, okay. and we're gonna do all this stuff. Do you have any hose here? Of course. Sweet. Had my uh, brakes oh, rebuilt on the Honda today. Happy about that. Oh, I don't know. So we turned the white hose on. Yeah. And this white hose. We called for wrenches. Yeah. Too hot? Yeah. Too hot? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, well, if that's accurate, you sure do. <laughs> oh, it's great. No cool. squeakies, no problems. it was no biggie. No, it's not running perfect. We're at Dairy Show. I'm just going to wander around and have a look at some of the amazing cars. Okay, there we have Steven's 78 Subaru. Awesome to see it back on the road. Fantastic. What I like about dairies is how much of this stuff you get to see. That is amazing. I think that's a 73 satellite. Awesome. Great to see it. I believe this is one of Derry's. It's a 1966 Chrysler. A lot of people are like that. They're like, they can sit over there. Beautiful, big old hardtop. Dean, do you like looking at cars? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know, right? This is absolutely beautiful. What year is the Pontiac? 1950? 51. 51? What a beauty. That, it's an 8. That is awesome. Yeah. Is this a U.S. model? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. What a beauty. No kidding. Wow, it's such a nice car. It's original Nobody too. It. It's wow. all original. Never repainted. What a beauty. And even the seats. Look yeah, at the seats. Yeah. Kind of oh, it's, it's unbelievable. Kind of what an unbelievable true, car. I love way. it. I love paint Brand like that. Just, just well, original. Yeah. 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 So nice to see. Of Look at that. Just like new. Window. How many miles on the car, sir? 67,000. That's it, eh? Yep. Wow. Hard to believe that some of them just got put away, eh? Well, this car sat. The, the it sat, happened, eh? I told you what happened. The guy died. Yeah, okay. The kids put it in the shed and it sat there. And it just sat years. there. Wow. 31 years. Thank There's you for a lot showing of nice to me. Cars around. Isn't there, eh? Well, very nice to see so many in one place. I yeah, even look yeah, at this yeah. beauty here. Pontiac Parisienne. That's what, 67, I think? I have 67? No idea. It's very cool. Really nice. That's Canadian model Pontiac. So it's a 283 and a glide? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not at all. Not at all. No, this is not that kind of a show. Look at that. What a treat. Love the fastback. We were just talking yesterday that every car GM made in 1967 was just perfection. Oh, yeah. Like, GM was, was one hit out. Just look at this, eh? Like. 
There's yeah. just not a mistake on it, you know, and it's just that is yeah. gorgeous. So and the big hips, you yeah, know. That big Coke bottle yeah, it's just the they really went maximum Coke bottle this year. Yeah. Really cool. Thanks for having let me have a look at it. Oh no, absolutely. Very cool. Thank you. What a treat though. 1980 GMC. Only year with the old flat round fenders and rectangular lights. That was Derry's friend painted that one. It's cool. This is mind blowing. This is an all completely original Cordova. Absolutely stunning condition. I mean, you, this is probably the best Cordoba you will ever see. I've never seen anything like it. It's like a new car. All of this is original. The paint's original, the stripes are original. Look at the wheel covers. Look at it. The little, look at this condition of all of this trim. It's hard to believe how good that car is. Absolutely amazing. Wow, you don't see that in the model. No, that's a beautiful car. What can you even say about something like that? That is fantastic. <laughs> Need to back up a ways to get this one in the frame, don't you? What an absolutely stunning car. Look at the size of everything here. Just for perspective. Eh? That is magnificent. That is an absolute monster. Just a monster. Fantastic. Love the old Packard Straight 8. What a machine. One of my favorite cars, of course. Twin H Hornet. Fantastic. What a special car. It's very cool. Meteor Niagara. Two door sedan. That is an awesome condition. Well, there's enough half wits around Love here, we it. figured it out. <laughs> and my favorite generation of Barracuda, the earliest ones. Love the big sea bodies, of course. Absolutely awesome. This is, look at that, that's 1968 and Monaco 500. Top of the line Dodge. Split bench, 383. Beautiful vinyl top, absolutely top drawer. Magnum 500s. Beautiful. Here's another one of Derry's here. This is absolutely, impossibly rare Matador police car. I was going to say, when's the last time you saw one of these? But the answer would be never. I don't even have to ask you. That's right. I've never seen I have never seen one, and I've seen a lot of cars. Except in a James Bond movie, I think. Yeah, yeah, there was. A man with a golden gun, I think. Right? That's, yeah. That's hen's teeth. There. <laughs> yeah, it's the rarest, weirdest thing. Well, a guy's got to win his own car show, right? Oh, yeah. If you're playing weird car contests with dairy, you're going to lose, you know? You betcha. That is absolutely... Pull that thing out, even in civvy guys. Right? You, know, you can take that anywhere and have the weirdest car. You don't even right. have to be here. Look at this. These, you know, they hardly seem real, you know? Finally like, a car that makes my Buick look short. Yeah, and sensible, you know? Sensible. Like... <laughs> So I got multiple requests for a drive of your Electra here. So next time you're over, we'll have to do drive. Exactly. And, and sure, uh, anytime we want to do a drive in this thing, we can do yeah. it. Yeah, it's impossible to not like an Electra 225.
Wow, hey. And Ashley's Datsun is here today. It's the one we touched up a few weeks ago. Dean made it, holy cow. Actually, we make fun of Dean's Edsel, but it's just a hammer, right? It starts right up. Really good, eh? Of course, they didn't really drop the ball in 65 either. Look at that. Just looks brand new, man. We'll see a four door hardtop in a 65 or? Yeah, no, this is a beautiful, beautiful. This is an all original car. No way. Yeah, there's the man right there. It's his car. Oh, man. He knows the history and of it from black. day one. And it's black, and it's straight, and it's rust free. Wow. And it's original paint. One of my favorites, of course. Okay. Derry's police car fleet looking really good. A lot of these might belong to Derry's friends. There's a lot of fellows here who collect police cars. Fantastic Roscoe car here. I believe that's a 77 or 8 Fury. 440. Oh, look at They even got it. It's always good. Everybody has a sense of humor here. Nobody's hung up. And uh, I think we mentioned earlier, all these cars are legit police cars, there's no clones, and that these are restored to the absolute highest standards. This is one of my favorites. I don't think Derry owns this one anymore, but he did restore it, I believe, and that is a 70... I'm sure he's had his hand in about most I think he has in most of them, yeah. I think this is a 77 Royal Monaco. Absolutely stunning car. Not quite bone stock under the hood. I think it hustles along pretty good. This must have been a chief car because it's got hidden lights so you could tell somebody was the boss. Not sure if that's an LX50 police or an LX50 1988, I'm guessing. 89 maybe. Hey, are you guys talking about cars? Yeah, something like Just that. making sure. Oh, yeah. Just making sure. Okay. As you were. <laughs> oh, he brought the old Pontiac right on. Hey, the farm show is next week. <laughs> so that was a, another fantastic afternoon at Derry's. And the old Model T did really good. So, um, can't complain. She's, uh, she's running really nice, not too hot, not too cold. Model T is getting the whole slowing down procedure dialed in. Try to drive it without ever having to really use the brake. So 
that's uh, it's coming along. What a treat. Hey, Poo Poo Dog. Yes, it was a good thing. Whoever called the rain, good call. It's raining. So? Almost made it home. How are we doing on... Yeah, Andy's missing the pit stop window by about 10 minutes. Yeah. At being very helpful as usual. Frustrating because it was perfect a week ago. But it's it was so obvious when I was riding it. I'm like, why can't I not get this thing to be rich enough? It just will not get rich enough. Which obviously in hindsight, it's like it's because it's, it it's like it's not getting any fuel. Yeah, I can see why you didn't want to do this on the side of the road. Oh yeah. I was like, pop the float bowl off, what's going on? Oh well, we don't have an hour. It did make it all the way back though, right? It did, it did it make made it, it to here. zero load on it, it would work. But I was afraid as I was driving, I'm like, I'm probably running this thing so lean. Which is never a good thing. We motored it out too much, it just started popping. Popping and farting. And... Okay, well, we're T minus a few seconds here. <laughs> I gotta get your brochure. Just like, great name. I got all the brochures. I can order. I'm gonna have to start putting some ads up in the house. You know, for, uh, 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 and I think the quails have lost a few inches over life. Oh yeah. And so that diff is so like it's, not quite it's kind of doing. Anymore. Yeah. I'm gotta gonna walk some side, side to side. side. Uh, it's <laughs> kind of odd. Hey, the strato strut. some tires there. We should do an episode of Classic Tire, eh? You like that kind of thing?
Classic Tire time, and we're all extremely excited at the special new Classic Tire episode called... We should have thought of a name. Uh, how are we going to call it? Uh, Buy the Classic Tire in the Tire Shed. Tire Shed Random Classic Tires. we got something a little special today. I'll go in. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. And you got two of them. Give a pair. <laughs> there's your conventional passenger tire. And there's your mad dog. Look at how many extra zigzags it has. And how much more robust the individual zigzags are. The thing is we... You just need the, like, the greasiest car you can think of to put them on. Like The car has to be like so tacky. That's the hard part, finding a car bad enough to put them on. I, I don't even know. If only there was like that sunbeam would come. Uh, you know, and the trees open yeah. up and the... You got some mad dogs. Serious tire time. Mad Had dogs. a serious, serious classic tire special today with tires that are actually good, which almost never happens. Today, take us through it, Kyle. What do we got here? I, uh, I'm just beside G myself. Sixty fifteen Mad Dog six hundred. Man, I wish we had a little more info on this. So if anybody knows, please, uh, who sold these? Uh, I have been looking for an ad for these things for weeks. I haven't found a single ad. Uh, they did make a dirt tire mm -hmm. many years later called Mad Dogs. Some of those ground grips too. They made and, the yeah. those winter grips. But this is like a street, summer, high performance, meathead, muscle car kind of tire. For your skid rocket. For your skid rocket. Four ply polyester cord. She's a four ply polyester. Made in Canada. Made in Canada? I don't know the vintage. What do you think, Kyle? Late 70s? Mid 70s? I'd say mid. Mid to late 70s, I'm mm -hmm. guessing. Um, possibly early 70s. These were donated by uh, Matt and Jim at Strong's Garage because they don't have anything greasy enough to put them on, whereas I know people who do. So here we are. And they took them off of a hot rotted uh, Fargo truck or Dodge truck. And I think Matt said the rod was finished in the early 70s. So these were probably put on the rod right when it was finished. And it didn't get driven enough to even wear its first set of tires off. We plan to see if they can uh, add a little bit more attitude to Kyle's already pretty spectacular uh, Chrysler LeBaron 1979. These would be what you would put on if your aunt gave you her 79 LeBaron. Yeah, these and would be in you, the corner of the garage. And you you needed to yeah. get something on there. Yeah, and pull those grandma road get, wheels right get off. Get the grandma rims off. Dumpster fire. The white walls. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's the official tire of uh, tearing up your neighbor's yard. <laughs> it's really the only way you can road test uh, a mad dog is uh, go and rip some donuts on your lawn or somebody else's lawn, even better. And there's going to be some revs. No, there's RPM. That's a guarantee. <laughs> Maybe some floating valves. <laughs> Could be some valve float. That's not out of the question. Valve float, always good for the ratings. So, Mad Dog, uh, anybody fill us in, because uh, I think they're awesome. And uh, I think Agreed. that uh, if we can squeeze them onto Kyle's LeBaron there, that... Uh, he should be the proud owner of probably, and, and usually the classic tires we have on here are pretty haggard. These are absolutely pristine. Roadworthy. Like, 
These are totally roadworthy. These are the best tires we've ever had on Classic Tire, and probably, I'm betting, the last roadworthy set of Mad Dogs in the world. Prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. Send us pictures of you ripping up your neighbor's lawn in your Mad Dogs, preferably on your late 70s coupe. We'll, we'll send you an empty beef eater gin bottle. And a t-shirt. <laughs> and part of your bail money, but not very much of it. I got it blue one I can send them. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll throw in 20 bucks towards your mail. You are colorblind. The blue one's a $5 bill. <laughs>
a uh, Happy Canada Day from the Classic Tire Crew. Thanks. I was just headed outside. I'm uh, going to do a little sanding on the rover and then uh, found a note on my door that said something to the effect of you seem like a sad bastard perhaps you would like a 42 Dodge and so how does a person not call that number so anyway I did and the gentleman is on his way over here with the car which is already on a trailer so Anytime you get a phone call like that, where a guy says, I have a car on a trailer and I want to get rid of it. Uh, I know, like... So anyway, I'm going to, uh... I'm going to have a look. I don't know. I'm not saying for sure that it's going to end up here. Because uh, we haven't discussed price or anything, but I figure, well... He's only a couple of miles away and it's already on a trailer, so... You know, we're not wasting his time if it doesn't work out, but, uh, I don't know. This seems like a kind of a retirement home for that kind of thing, so, so who knows. Had the DS out yesterday. Man, still, still just an absolute doll. What a sweet old girl. Hey, Mini Frankers, are you excited? You get some fresh inventory for the real junkyard here? Yes. Not sure if this is a forklift situation or a uh, push it situation. It's almost certainly not a fire it up and drive it off situation. So we'll see when it gets here. I guess there's not much else we can we can say. I've probably driven by the car several times, or at least the yard, but I've never seen it. So uh, you know, I have I have no expectations. And I also have no room, but I also have uh, no self-control, so we'll find a home for it. come off and it's jammed itself yeah. against the spring. So yeah. Yeah. We're not gonna get that. <laughs> yeah, we we're taking pretty good drinks at that time. Okay, I'll go we, get the I, I think we ruined the tire. Yeah. Tom, you owe me a tire. What the fuck? <laughs> news man yeah we i thought we'd have to hammer yeah, that sometimes thing. dragging them around a bit loosens a few things up okay i go get a better has, tire huh? well, the well i don't know at least till we can get a plug in now yeah one. yeah so do you have any history with this car or like was it your grandfather's uh, it was my brother-in-law's oh yeah yeah he bought it when he was going to university uh -huh. it would have been a bud in the 50s, 1960, late oh, okay. 50s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when he graduated and he became a teacher, got a job, he got a new car, yeah. and yeah. this one was parked in the shed for a few years. And then we brought it to our place at the farm to gonna use it for fishing and stuff. And we had it running a few times, but oh, yeah. we never got it on the road and yeah, yeah. it never got into a shed. Yeah. Yeah. You needed some of these clippies for something, wasn't it? One for Mark's car, yeah. Did you guys ever get a... A, a wheel cover? We cover. did find a usable one. Yeah. It's not great, but yeah. it's better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of looking for a good one. Can't complain about that, eh? Look at that. Yeah. It's like we knew she was coming. That tire's from 1951, too. Yeah. There we go. Well. All right. Okay. Now, let's hope. Let her down. I only got, I, those old tires, I don't put much air in them, so. It's probably got about 12 PSI in them. 
That yeah, looks like enough. Great. It's better than the front one on the other side. Yeah, that one's got zero PSI. Either. This okay. one, another zero. It's going to pull a bit to the left, but we'll oh. do it. You're going to have to hang on to that steering wheel. assume anything anymore. I Actually. assume this dog's in great shape. Yeah, well, everything is relative, I guess. Yeah. Well, relative to the rest of the stuff. Relative to already being crushed. Yeah. I would say it's not bad. We're going to give it the uh, trunk treasures tour. Right. Trunk treats. Let's go. First off. Okay. Yeah, that's don't a trunk treat. Don't even talk to me. We don't even, if this was, if the guy just dropped this off in my yard, I would have been happy as hell. What a beautiful emblem. Well, that's, uh, I believe shape. that's cloisonne, which is, uh, you know, glass. They put little glass beads in there and then they fire it in an oven and they melt. Isn't that nice? Man. Right, look at the yeah. amount of effort into that emblem. Three different colors of glass and... There's your Dodge Ram. Your Dodge Ram. I mean, it's... This alone Here. is nicer than any modern car. Hmm. Makes you want to clean it up. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, not yet. The whole time I'm thinking how much this thing reminds me of my 41 Plymouth in terms of condition and... Well, mostly condition. And the fact that it's the same body. Yes. But both parked in 64. This car It's all just has, surface rust with just bare minimum of burnt off paint yeah, left on still. It has less paint than I even thought. Like Well which one has more? This car? Oh the Plymouth has or way the Plymouth. more. Yeah. yeah. And by way more it's got thirty percent. This has got about ten. <laughs> right? There's very little paint. But I guess, right? These cars are old. And my Plymouth might look like this if it had sat outside instead of me buying it. First off, all the glass lenses still, where is it? All the glass lenses still this intact. One, and the emblem. A, How did that stuff not get ripped off? Or just broken. Yeah. What is weird? Yeah. Is that a knob? And this is a car that like nobody has given a shit about this thing. And somehow it survived. Nobody vandalized it. That's what's mind blowing. All the instruments are perfect. Like just because it's sat outside, it's quite neglected, but to have never been sat in by kids who broke the knobs off. I mean, well, maybe they did, I haven't looked that close, but it's not uh, it's not ruined. Okay, uh, Frankers, you like? It's a dog dish for Frankers. <sighs> hey, hey, no, you don't need to get in. Come on, you can get hurt. No, out, 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 out. No, it's not for Frankers. That's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's 50 Dodge because that on that blue car, right? That I believe is for this car. I've seen quite a few Because of we have a few of them, right? 
That's like a vacuum can, isn't it? Fuel pump. Yeah, parts, I guess. Rebuildable core, Ooh, perhaps. Glass, uh, glass bowl, bowl, yeah, it's still there. There's a hand crank. That's a, oh, that's part of a wheel change and set. There's a jack here. And there's an extra piece of glass. I don't know what that's for. There's tin and a couple of the original wheels. Oh, and there's a trunk floor. Oh. Wow, that is a real treasure. That's an actual trunk floor, ladies and gents. Huh. The mat even. It's a little folded. There's the jack bottom. Look at that. This is a swivel bay. And yeah, that's about her and the spare. Which he said it looks like looks like the trunk well might be rusty. Yeah. Said the spare does not hold air, so I'm gonna leave it where it is. It's not gonna do us any good. No, it's not he blew a hole in it. Maybe it's uh when when we have time, we'll pull it out and do a visual, you know. Let's have a look at the classic classic tire short clip here. My classic, just pull it out of the car. Yeah, right. Just a short look. Oh, a Woodward's Custom Deluxe. 616. Made in Canada. Nice. Let's have a look at the tread. Oh, what a shame. It still had lots of life in it. Okay. That's fun, eh? 1966 plate, single, good condition. I thought there was a pair, but there's not. So, whatever. Oh, look, it's got a footrest. That's kind of nice. Oh, pretty fancy. And it's got the nice rope on the back of the seat still. So that's cool. And because it's got the little hand, uh, little uh, grab handles that come out there, for getting in and out. That's kind of that's fun. That's all good stuff to have. It's got the cranks. The Frankers likes it. Frankers. Okay. Oh wow! It's mostly there. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Yeah, it probably just just shatters if you squeeze it. Is that cracking or no? That's just cracking. Okay, what you get? Come on, you can't just play in there all day. <laughs> uh, come on, I know you like it. Do you want this to be yours? Hey, eh? we'll put it in the pile for you. slide over each other it won't get any worse but anyway I don't know there's some uh, more wheel covers in there there was nothing in the box the battery's got to be around here somewhere there's the other two Belt this battery. one looks good this one's a little hammed up yeah they're hammered these are not easy to fix because it's folded over it's like a foil over top of a Oh, a dish. Yeah. So Steel not, dish. not real easy to fix. But whatever. Oh, it moved. Oh. I'm not going to do it. I'm gonna let it soak. It's too it just seems to move that much and stuff, so these hinges are going to get Uh, 
That's still tight, but we're getting there. On to the next uh, seized feature. Hinge. Yeah. Just. Uh, oh, that was not tight. Not yeah, bad at all. I think you might want to do the lip though too, because this one is kinked as well. Yeah. Is it grabbing? Oh, there's another classic tire here now too. Now that we can get in. Oh yeah. Canadian Tire Corporation Limited, Toronto, Canada. Super elastic. Highway byway. I think that's what that says. Mm -hmm. Another 60016. Cool. Another made in Canada. Nice. And a grip. The grippy is it blowing? Well, What's the matter? I can probably chuck that on the wheel that's on the left front. Huh. Maybe some yeah, more. it's ragged. Eh? This thing has been sitting outside a long time. Pretty ragged. Time. Dash is nice though. Dash is decent. It's all there. Yeah. Oh, should we go for a pull on the ashtray? I don't know, man. Club box maybe though? I'm assuming somebody would have popped that open and checked out Grandpa's silver dollar collection or something. Oh, or mouse nest. Or mouse nest, that's exciting. Tattered upholstery tour, trunk treasures, and still don't know where the battery is installed. I think it's installed under the front seat pedals there. What are these panels on the floor? Do these used to be the kick panels? <coughs> Must have been. Mm. I sit up in here. Oh yeah. There we go. Got those back in. Rangers, don't rip it up. don't rip it up, Rangers, please. Yeah, she's pretty poopy. Pretty poopy. Yeah. Probably supposed to go right horizontal once it's loosened up. Nevertheless, improvement. And doors working. That one has no handle, so whatever. At this rate, we'll be driving around the yard in no time. I bet we could. Okay. Is it stuck? Let's Is it hopeless? Right, that's the question. Are okay, we well, first impressions. Oh. One plug wire. There's your problem. There's your problem, lady. So the one frost of them, plug is blown out. Give it a give it a test. Oh, here it goes. Turn. Oh yeah. It's a crank turn. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, it. oh yeah, she's going. Yeah. It'll go. It seems <laughs> seems a fairly easy actually, whether that's good or not. She might like not this, be a real high compression machine. I like this horn though. That's cool, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Quite the Everything is Quite there. the trumpet on that Every, one. Yeah, it's cool. I think the, the American Dodge has two. Mark's car has got the two trumpets, which is really cool. <laughs> this is super bass compared to Mark's car. You get right. punched in the teeth pretty hard, though. Yeah, it's been punched in the teeth. I'm going to... Oh, do you want to play Guess the Mileage? Just have a quick wander around. Uh, everybody, well, what, what, everybody can play along with us. Okay, well, it was on the road till 64. 1940, so 25 years, 24 years of use. Like, what would have been a good lifespan for one of if these? If you got one of these up over 80,000 miles, you would have been doing very well. Like, this to me looks like a 75,000 oh, okay. plus miles. Yeah. I'm going to go with 64, like the year. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. 64,000. Oh yeah? That's your guess? Yeah. Do you think it's less? Okay. Well, let's have a look. Yeah. I'm saying 79. 79? If, it's, if this is much over 90, that would be a lot for back then. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Wow. Did you look at it before? No. Are you serious? Yeah. 62,800. That's almost exactly 100,000 kilometers. Wow. That's not even that much. 
but I guess back then, hey. Well, 62 means that it's probably, she's got another 30,000 miles in her. Yep. And since it took me eight years to put 9,000 on the last car, this, this car would last me the rest of my life if we got it running. Like pretty nice. Honestly, we shine this thing up a bit and clean the tires, put the hubcaps back on. Oh, into the row. Into the row, right? This thing, will, this thing would drive itself into the row. It's stick. Francine likes it. I bet you she'd go. She's a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. <laughs>